If you're as excited as I am about the new SharePoint agents from Microsoft Copilot, you're in the right place. Microsoft have just announced and made generally available SharePoint agents. Charles, I don't mean that kind of agent. Oh, for heaven's sake. How should I know, Matt? And to top it off, it's included in your Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now nah, you're talking my language. First of all, quick introduction. My name is Man. I run a company called Labyrinth Technology. We help empower businesses with their IT and cybersecurity. You can find out more about our company by going to www.labyrinthit.com or you can find a link to my LinkedIn profile in the video description. If you're wondering why I'm looking a bit tired, it's because I was up really late last night playing with this. I was so excited when it first came out. Sad, I know. I was sending messages to my colleagues and even emailing some of my clients really late telling them all about it. Let's get stuck in. And so the first thing you'll notice, if you already have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license, um, you will already see a button for Copilot at the top of all of your SharePoint sites. But what does an AI agent actually do? Well, an AI agent is a piece of software that uses artificial intelligence technology to perform tasks like generate information or respond to queries using information from a particular knowledge source. In the case of SharePoint agents from Microsoft Copilot, they will use information in your SharePoint to perform tasks or provide responses to the users. So Microsoft now by default creates a Copilot agent for all of your SharePoint sites. So if I click on that at the top there, um, that is going to um, bring up the uh, Copilot agent for this site. Now that's great, um, but the chances are you probably have not done a lot of preparation at this stage in terms of getting your data ready. Um, so if, you've, if you're putting bad data into the system, you're going to get bad data out of the system. The same applies uh, with any IT system, really. Um, so if your SharePoint site is full of things like this, um, you can see we've got this archive um, folder here. Copilot is going to be you know, looking at all old versions of files, archive versions, um, that kind of thing. So if you're really going to use this um, and take it seriously, then you need to do a really you know, big sort out of your SharePoint data um, before you start utilizing these agents. Um, so yeah, this isn't going to be particularly useful to me at the moment because I know that in this site we've got these archive folders um, all over the place. Um, and uh, you know, potentially we need to create a separate SharePoint archive site um, or just delete this data if we no longer need it. Um, now, the other thing that you can um, do with Copilot agents in SharePoint is um, you know, create an agent based on a specific file or a specific folder um, or just a, you know, a selection of folders. Um, so let's say in this terms and conditions folder, um, I wanted to create an agent based on the data from these two folders and forget about my archive folder, um, I can select those two folders and I've got this create an agent button at the top there. I actually just want to use this product sheets folder. Uh, it's got some really useful um, written information about our different products and services and a really clear text-based format that's easy for Copilot to understand. So I'm gonna select that folder and click on the ellipsis here and then I'm gonna click create an agent and just like that you can see your agent is ready um, so I'm going to hit open agent and that brings up copilot on the right hand side so I can now ask that a question um, so I'm going to ask it um, do we include on-site support visits with our support plans so, you know, if one of our engineers needed to understand this, um, you know, they're probably all going to know that we, you know, pretty much all of our plans, we include unlimited on-site visits. Um, but if they were new here, they'd have to read through all of those um, documents um, and try and get an understanding there. Um, so, yes, we've got, it's come back straight away and said our plans do include on-site visits and it's provided a really high level summary of our different support plans and what is included there. And that's really saved someone having to you know, sit there and skim through um, a whole load of different um, documents. So um, the next thing we're gonna look at is um, how we can actually share this agent and use it in Microsoft Teams. Um, so there is a limitation here. Um, at the moment, you can't use these agents in a, um, a Teams channel. 
Um, you can only use them in a uh, in a meeting, a Teams meeting, or you can use them in a group uh, chat in Microsoft Teams. I don't know why that limitation is in place, and I don't know whether it's going to change. Um, I hope it will, because we don't really like to use um, group chat um, in Teams a lot, um, because generally organizations um, uh, you know, will have more structured um, teams um, based on departments or project groups. Um, but let's demonstrate that functionality. Um, so if we come in here and click the three dots, um, and I can click, um, first I can click share to share this Copilot agent. Now, any, if I've set this as an approved agent, then anyone on this SharePoint site that has access and a Copilot license will see it. Um, so I don't really need to worry about the sharing in that case. Um, but I'm not gonna set this as approved at the moment because I'm just playing around with it really. Um, so let's click copy link for Teams. There we go, and now I'm going to bring up a group chat window. Okay, so here's my group chat window. I know that both of these um, users or colleagues um, have Microsoft Copilot licenses, so great place to um, you know, use this agent. So I just need to copy and paste that link that I've just shared, and then press the send button. Um, and then you'll notice that you get a add to this chat button, um, and that now permanently adds this Microsoft Copilot agent uh, to the chat. Um, so I can see that it's now um, typing, so I can press any of these um, prompts here, um, like summarize any key highlights, or I can create a, a fact, frequently asked questions, or you know, ask it for help as to how I can use the resources. Um, so now that I've got this added, I can type in at um, product sheets agent, and then ask it, um, do we provide on-site um, visits to clients on our advanced support plan? There we go. So that saved me going into SharePoint and, and reading through files. It's taken a little while actually to give me the answer. But here we go, yeah, so straight away, yes, we do provide on-site visits to our clients on the advanced support plan, and it mentions unlimited remote, telephone, and on-site technical support during our opening um, hours. Um, so it has helpfully noted that we don't provide um, on-site support for mobile devices. So it's given me some really um, useful information, really detailed information there, um, which has you know, saved someone looking through SharePoint, trying to find um, those files um, and having to read um, through them. So this is really powerful. If you want to use this properly in SharePoint, you do need to take the time to look at what data you've got in SharePoint, what the permissions are on that data, um, and importantly, train people on how to use this. Um, you can create as many Copilot agents as you like from individual files or folders, but you don't want people publishing them all over the place. You don't want to end up in this really messy uh, list of um, SharePoint agents or you know people accessing data through um, Copilot that they you know perhaps didn't realise they had access to and shouldn't have access to. If you would like to talk about implementing Microsoft 365 Copilot in your organisation, then please do get in touch with me on LinkedIn or go to the labyrinthit.com website and find our contact details on there. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like, drop us a comment with your feedback and subscribe so you don't miss our next content. Thanks for watching.